Hello. Just landed in Puerto Varda. <laughs> we are in the back of an Uber. It's very exciting. I think it's called Uber here in Mexico. And a couple roadies we stopped for on the way to Sayulita. And I'm starting to vlog because I tried to watch some vlogs recently on travel and they are terrible. There's one that was all right. Shout out, I forget what your name is, but you guys were good. The rest, I, I couldn't do it. So. I'm doing this to help yeah, other fest. people out there. Um, Ahe Fest? The Ahe. the Ahe Fest. They were good. The rest, shit. So we're out here on our way. Going through Mexico. Our Uber's terrific. We'll shout out his information whenever you need a ride next time you're here. And yeah. Welcome to Mexico, Sayulita, Christmas 2020. Guys, we're just checking back in and I'm a little drunk. It's a long drive. It's okay, Leah's working. Um, so I thought I should give you information on Sayulita. You fly into Puerto Vallarta, and it's about a 45 minute drive from Sayulita to Puerto Vallarta, and in fact, also Puerto Vallarta to Sayulita. So, just keep that in mind, I guess. Fun fact. Also, uh, Uber, you can catch an Uber, but you have to cross the bridge, so you would need to like, cross a pedestrian bridge, but the Uber is the way to go. Definitely suggest that. Uh, what else can I give you? Always stop for beers at the gas station when you land. Okay, somewhere. That's a local hardware shop if you guys are interested. So if you're new hardware, just go there. Oh, here's more. Anyways, fun updates. Fun dates, we'll call them, along the way, Sayulita. So I was ruminating on this drive, ruminating about Tulum, and how uh, I think we need to make Sayulita like a, a better version of Tulum. How's it gonna be better, you ask? One thing, airport to Sayulita is like 45 minutes at most. Tulum, two hours or more. Uh, Sayulita is very similar, it's a little beach town, plus you can surf there, which is a huge plus if you're into surfing. Or just want to try, you can't surf in Tulum. So here's a 
plan. We're going to go to Sayulita. I think in Tulum, anywhere, the travel time, much quicker than Sayulita. Direct flight from Phoenix, Los Angeles. Cancun doesn't have that. Maybe from Los Angeles, but I'm not going to risk it. I'll tell you that. Not on my watch. Anyways, more Sayulita tips. Of the beautiful little beach town that you'll see at some point. So we made it to the lovely Villa Amor. Try to get that blue sky for you. There we go. And yeah. Best hotel in Sailita. Check it out. Oh, by the way, I wasn't talking mess about Tulum. I love Tulum. One of my favorite places on earth. It's arguable it's better than here. Agreed. So don't take what I said about Tulum incorrectly. I just meant it was more time efficient to come here. And unique. at the bars, restaurants, Il Ticate, Il Itikate, best restaurant, Sailita. One of us is drunk. All right, she disappeared in the night. I'm sober, as you know, as the host of the show. Never get too tipsy. But El Ticate, bar hopping, Sailita, great time. Day two, Sailita. I meant to show you some stuff last night. Hey, I think I video things, I just didn't talk per se, but dinner was incredible. El Etikate is a place you have to eat. And then we had breakfast, which I took pictures of. Again, I didn't talk because I didn't want to talk at a restaurant and have people look at me all weird. Uh, but Yaya, I think it's called. I'll edit this, it's not called Yaya. I'm pretty sure it's Yaya. And that's our hotel in the background there. And here's the beach. It's a little busy. We plan on walking to like a more secluded beach tonight, which maybe I'll cue you into that. And then tomorrow, walking to another beach that's like an hour away walking called, I forget, but I'll tell you later. All right, enjoy. I don't know if you enjoy it, because I'm the one here doing it. You're just watching this, wishing you were here. But hopefully when you go, you enjoy it. That's what I meant. All right. As always, support local. So they have the bar. We've got the fresh freeze orange juice. And a little Bloody Mary shack. That's what I came for. What's well, about twenty dollars of Whole Foods? It's five here. Fresh squeezed orange juice mixed with pineapple juice. For my friend, my best friend. As always, one of my number one tips anywhere is getting lost. You never know what you come across. Maybe a Bloody Mary bar, fresh orange juice, maybe these flags hung above some stalls. Go for a walk. Great things happen. If you 
know me, you know I love fruit and pickles, obviously. But I always stop at the farmer's market. I don't know if it's a farmer's market per se, but it's an outdoor grocery store. What is a farmer's market? I don't know. Do you know? Don't judge me. I'm here buying pineapples and mangoes. detour on our hike so we learn what not to do so I can tell you guys what to do in the hiking article and we popped out now we're walking beside a highway <laughs> after a slight detour we made it to San Pancho supposedly what Sayulita was 10 to 15 years ago before it got busier than it is now. So, we're gonna check it out.
I should have done a recap on Sayulita when I was in Sayulita, but instead you get the recap here. Real quick things I left out that you need to do. I know I said Ele Tecate was an incredible meal. Uh, at the time it was, and then we went to Mary's. Kid you not, <clears throat> top five meals I've ever had in my entire life. Best Mexican food, hands down, I've ever had in my entire life. You have to try that. Uh, Villa Amor, so you, uh, you'll see a bunch of it uh, at the end of this video. I'm gonna show you some incredible rooms. They moved us around a couple times just to show us some of their outstanding rooms. So stay around for that at the end of this video. We saw sea turtles, sea turtle nests. So be careful when you see those, but that's something very cool that you can go and see as well as tons of sea adventures. You can go whale watching, fishing, beach hopping, and all that kind of stuff. And the Marietta's Islands, which we didn't have a chance to do. And what else? Uh, oh, currency exchange. We, I never care about currency exchange ever, <clears throat> um, but this is the worst place on earth for it. You will get charged about, you'll lose about $30 for every $200 you take out. So what's that like? I'd say 15 to $20 on every $100 you take out. They don't have regular banks there, just ATMs. So you can't have like a sister bank like Santander normally I have for Bank of America. Doesn't exist there. And on top of that, everywhere is cash only. Well, 75% of the places are cash only. And you will get screwed by them on their currency exchange. So you won't get like a 20 to one or a 19 to one, you'll be getting 17 to one. So on top of that all, if you don't bring your own cash, US dollars or pesos, uh, you will absolutely get done in on the currency exchange. And uh, yeah, like I said, I never care about that. But in this case, when you'll save about 20%, bring your own cash uh, before you exchange it there. I will completely do that. What else do I have for you? Even on the street, it was so cool. It was a lot like Rome where you just, there's so many restaurants you just ate on the road and they you sat on the cobblestone road and it was a really cool experience. So definitely do that when you're eating out in town as much as possible. As I always say, don't go to all-inclusive resorts. Thankfully, Sayulita doesn't have all-inclusive resorts anyways, so don't worry about that because Staying on all inclusive resort, you never get a chance to see any of the fun stuff because you feel like you need to eat there, drink there, and get your money's worth versus go explore and try some new stuff. And food at all inclusive resorts suck. I've been at the five star ones a bunch, and it's never good, ever. I mean, it's in abundance, but it's never good. I mean, it's good, but it's not like the best meals I've ever had from local restaurants. Good. Um, and that's about it. Golf carts, you can cruise around in those. We never did because we just walked everywhere and it's not a big town. So I don't know if the golf carts are ne necessary. Uh, they're fun to have, I guess, and cruise around for a little bit, but really there's only a handful of streets. So it's easy to walk around and see stuff. And plus parking them is a pain as well. And that's about it. Stay around, I'm gonna show you Villa Amor, the probably nicest hotel I've ever been at. Villa Amor as well as Red Rock Zion. And Zion, two favorite places I've ever stayed. Uh, you feel like royalty. It's absolutely incredible. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll try and make these better as I do more. All right, bye. So, 
This is home. Villa Lanchas, they call it. And we'll go out this way. So where was I? Um, this is a great place to be. Villa Amor, if you're doing anything, means Villa Love. I'm gonna Google Translate it, but I'm pretty sure it means Villa of Love. Sailita, a sleepy little beach town. Gotta come. I'm here. I suggest inspiretraveleat.com suggests coming to Sailita and definitely staying at Villa Amor, 100%.